They may win a battle here or there, but we cannot let them win this war. To discuss this latest attack on Trump with us tonight, his attorney, Alina Haba. Alina, welcome back to Prime News. Good to see you. How are you? Alina, you've been by Trump's side through his announcement for president and now this. What's the legal game plan now? <laughs> Same as it always is. Um, you know, nobody should be surprised. It, it's so obvious. I, I was speaking to a bunch of people tonight at dinner, and I, I thought there's just really no surprise to this anymore, right? At this point, let's expect it, and we attack it, just like we've attacked every, everything since 2015. It's one thing after another. We'll hit them one thing after another, and that's fine. Um, quite honestly, I believe that the Democrats are doing themselves an injustice. They've become so obvious with their tactics. And look, Nancy didn't stand up and take a seat again because she knew that this, it, the game is over. We took over the House. We're looking at Hunter. And if we weren't looking at Hunter, they wouldn't be looking at Trump. So this is what we do. You know, we've been fighting this fight since 2015. I'm sick and tired of it. And it will be treated like every single other witch hunt. This isn't a game we're not used to playing. Bring it on. Let's go. Just another witch hunt. You know, it's like the Trump's appointing me as special counsel. I mean, imagine to look into Hillary Clinton or someone like that. That's mm -hmm. literally as obvious as this could be. Um, it's a political hack. Politics don't have a place in the courtroom. They shouldn't. Unfortunately, certain people continue to do so. So we'll take it on head on like we always do. Alina, here's what scares me. You remember that famous quote by New York State Chief Judge Solomon Wachter, who said, if you want to, a grand jury will indict a ham sandwich. This special counsel has the authority to convene a grand jury. God forbid that Trump is actually indicted. Can he still run for president? It's a loaded question. Um, I don't think he will be indicted. So I, I haven't even given it much thought, to be honest, because when you haven't done anything wrong, you don't give credence to those kinds of questions. Instead, you think about how to strategically deal with somebody who's putting politics in front of law. Um, I, I truly am not worried about it. I know my client. I know who he is. I know he's an honorable person. And I, I know that he's you know, it, I know, but we're not dealing we're not dealing with the problem is we're dealing with somebody who's completely possibly politicized. That's why I said that quote. Right. They, if they want to, they'll go after a ham sandwich. Right. So I agree with you 100 percent. But on the other hand, we have people that are hell bent on getting Trump. So who's to say that he might, you know, they could convene a grand jury, find those select perfect people that absolutely hate Trump. And he actually gets indicted on, on some yeah. frivolous charges. Let's remember one thing. He, they have been trying to do this for so many years. And when you do have to have evidence, they struggle to find it. So they, they cast a really wide net. They will start subpoenaing everybody and anybody, and they will try and find a weak link. They, this is not a new game, right? So I understand mm -hmm. the concern, but this is something they did in 2015, 2016, Russia hoax, Mueller hoax, Fox hoax. Go through them. So mm -hmm. the the um, anxiety that some Republicans and MAGA Republicans are having right now, I don't share because I've seen this so many times before. At the end of the day, when you've done nothing wrong, you have nothing to be afraid of. This is complete politics over law. It is inappropriate. It is un-American. And I hope it rings true to a lot of Americans who are borderline concerned with our democracy, our republic, and everything we stand for as an American. Um, I, this is not the first time he's dealt with this. So I, I don't share that concern or panic. I think this is just another one of those witch hunts. You I, know, I, 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 hate, I hate to echo my client, but at the same time, he's right. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot of the same thing. And when you haven't done anything wrong, the truth will come out. Yeah, this is the, what is this, the uh, third special prosecutor in five years? It's, exactly. it's, it's, it's insane, and it seems like they're not going to stop until they possibly get something. Let's talk now about Jack Smith. He's the special counsel. He's prosecuted both Republicans and Democrats, but obviously they're trying to make it seem like this, he's some sort of bipartisan person. Do you buy it? What do you think? <laughs> if, if, if President Trump is the president again in 24, do you, I, I can tell you that I would be proud to go after all of this myself. It is not, they don't pick people that aren't on their side, okay? It is no coincidence that Hunter Biden's laptop from hell is being now exposed because we take over the House. 
They're going to put people that are on their side. They may try and make it look impartial, but we're dealing with this on so many fronts. And I understand the panic, but it's really, truly something we deal with every single day. It's no different than Letitia. It's no different than when Merrick Garland was involved. Just because he's a candidate now, they'd like to appear to be impartial by putting one of their buddies up as, uh, you know, a special counsel. It's the same thing. I, I just, I, I want to say to the American public, as somebody who's intimately related, um, when they're so afraid of somebody taking over control because they're so strong, they attack them harder. You know, when I first became his attorney, they attacked me in the media. They will do that. That's what they do. You have to be smarter than this. Um, I'm not concerned. He's not concerned. The truth will come out. And he's been dealing with this since 2015. It's just another. This guy, he, he's not a Republican's friend. I assure you they wouldn't do that. Um, he, you know, he's a Democrat, uh, you know, operative or whatever you want to call him. He's a friend of Biden's. And this is just a counterproductive experience where they're going to waste taxpayer dollars, frankly. Um, so we'll take it on. The White House press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, take a listen to what she had to say. I will say this, and I've said this many times before, we do not politicize the Department of Justice. That is something that the president said uh, during the campaign. That is something that the president said the, in his early days of, of, of being uh, in the White House. And that continues to be true. Uh, we were not involved in this, uh, in this particular issue. We are not involved in, let me just say that more broadly, we're not involved in criminal investigations that are done independently by the Department of Justice. We were not given advance, uh, advance notice we have a minute left but how does she lie with with uh, such a straight face it's a gift I, it's, it, <laughs> she's not very good at it to be honest um but that's probably why she doesn't have her job on tv anymore and now she's working oh. for the biden administration i mean i could not even imagine having to sit there and say that with a straight face it is absurd they're not involved so what they do is they put an attorney in between them and the department of justice they have the attorney speak for president biden or for whoever it is and then they say, OK, we're going to now put our little soldiers out into the world and say, we're not involved. We're not involved. Sure, sure, you're not involved. You know what? I don't care. It, it, come at us. It's fine. They've been doing it so long. And bring it. Bring it on, right? That's what you're saying, it. Alina. Like, Just bring it. You'll beat Just this one it. like you beat we're the ready. others. Thank you so much, Alina Haba. We're running out of time. But thank you so much for always Thanks. making time to come on here and speak the truth. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure.